cool. There are some things without a clear definition, but you know what they are when you see them. Are you trying to bring back your idea that cereal is soup? That's a discussion for another time. Our discussion today is more on the differences between creeks and rivers, something we have an abundance of in our region. But what is it that technically makes one stream of water a creek and another a river? There's nothing in the definition that would clear things up. A definition is a good place to start. A river is a natural stream that has defined banks and flows into another river, sea, or lake. That definition is vague, so there's no clear defining difference between the two because both creeks and streams can do those things. Generally, it is thought that rivers are bigger streams than creeks are, and even that term is relative depending on where you are and how big the creeks and streams tend to be in that area. Rivers and creeks both flow into larger bodies of water like lakes or bigger rivers, even the oceans. That's where the biggest rivers tend to flow. That's it? That's it. There are some other things without clear or technical definitions too. According to the United States Geological Survey, lakes and ponds don't have a big definition difference between the two, and neither do mountains and hills. You just know them when you see them. Like the difference between cereal and soup? Cereal is soup. Reporting from home. I'm Elizabeth Pellin. And I'm meteorologist Ray Petlin.